Hey y'all, what's up? I'm here another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be about the police officer that tased the man 11 times. Now, the initial reason for the pullover was a turn signal violation. Now, I've watched this video multiple times. And each time, the officer is definitely in the wrong. Uh, there's no doubt that he is in the wrong. Um, now, whether the guy was trying to hide evidence or what not, um, who knows. But when he first initially pulled out the taser, okay, before he even tased him, when he first pulled it out, um, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that. You know, if he was trying to hide evidence, you know, just grab his arm and, um, you know, unbuckle the seatbelt, grab his arm, and just go for the bag, you know. Um... Now, when he's pulled out the car, that's when it gets to the point where it is excessive force. Um, he was still buckled in his seatbelt. Um, the officer did have his arm. Uh, he had it pinned behind his back. He then tased the man, said he was resisting arrest, which, technically speaking, yes, he was resisting arrest, but if someone had me, had my arm behind my back, and... I, you know, and I was still buckled in. I, you know, I probably would resist the rest too. You know, you're not telling me what you're doing, anything like that. And like I said, I don't know what the guy had. Um, nobody has said if he had anything, if he had drugs, guns, anything like that. But just from the standpoint of if I was in that situation, okay, and I was still buckled in, and you just grab my arm like that and try to put it behind my back, you know, I'd be like, what What are you doing? And you can hear the man screaming, you know, what? what's wrong with you? What are you doing? Okay. And then from there on, he gets tased. Okay. And then he falls back, and you can see him laying there, but his legs are still restrained in the seat belt. Okay, so he gets tased again. And at some point during that confrontation, okay, a, a female, which I'm assuming is his girlfriend, wife, fiance, uh, hits another officer in the head, okay. So, and then at that point, you can hear the officer that is tasing him saying, taunting him pretty much, do you want it again? Okay, and police officers say you're going to get it again as a means of, you know, tactic diversionary, but this officer here, uh, clearly had issues, um, you know, who knows why he did this, uh, but he definitely needs to be looked into. Uh, as far as the female goes, uh, I'm not sure which officer she hit in the head, but I know it wasn't the one tasing the suspect, because... You know, she was on the other side of the vehicle in the driver's seat. So I'm not sure which officer she hit and why she hit him. If he was being excessive or if she was fighting or what not or both. Um, there were two kids in the back seat. Um, in the videos I've seen, you can actually see one kid come up front to the passenger seat where the father was sitting. They did arrest the suspect. But... They never said what for. Some people said it was for drugs. Um, like I said, who knows? I don't know if the woman was arrested or not for assault and battery. I haven't found that out. But just to put my general opinion out there, okay? As far as the father goes, okay? They said that they got pulled over for a turn signal violation, okay? Which is fine. But, you know, there were two cops there. Okay, and maybe, you know, they just happened to be behind each other, okay? There were two cops, okay? And they, the other officer on the other side said he's going to fight us. Who knows, okay? Just because the person has their leg out of the car doesn't mean they're going to fight. But at the same time, if you're pulled over, you know, stay in the car. Just stay in the car. But... The officer said he tried to identify him and he wouldn't give him his name. Okay. 
Yes, you should identify yourself if you're asked by a police officer. But at the same time, that gives you no right as a police officer to tase him 11 times or 10 times and, you know, jerk him out the car like that, you know, especially in front of his kids. Okay, I can understand if he was fighting or something like that. But, you know, he wasn't fighting. He was fighting to, you know, wonder what was going on. Now, as, like I said, as far as the woman, I don't know if the cops were being aggressive or if she was or a little bit of both. Um, who knows? But my general opinion, uh, the cop is wrong. He is definitely wrong in this situation. You know, there's no reason to tase this man 11 times. There's no need for it. So, you know, and one officer did get suspended for three days without pay. Uh, they didn't say which officer it was. I'm pretty sh sure it wasn't the officer that tased him 11 times. They just said a officer. And the officer that did tase him did have charges of aggravated assault, but they did get dropped after he spent time in jail. So, let's put this out here. With anything, there is bad and good, like I said before. There's good police officers, there's bad police officers. There's good politicians, bad politicians, and so on and so on. For y'all to subscribe to me, you know how what I'm going to go into. Okay? So, like I said, um, I've done multiple programs with police. I've done Explorers, I've done Ride-Alongs, I've been to events, and so on and so on. Okay? And I have met cops that were buttholes. And I have met cops that would do anything, give you the shirt off their back, just to help you. They would do anything for you if they could. Okay? So, for the people coming out here saying, you know, all cops are bad, all cops are racist, da da You know, you're wrong. I mean, it's simple as that. Um, and I had a member of... The uh, Black Lives Matter moment actually saw a comment I posted on one of these videos and he didn't agree with me, you know, and that's fine. Um, and I told him, you know, all lives matter, okay? White people do dumb and stupid things and illegal things. Black people do dumb, illegal, stupid things, okay? Same for police officers, politicians, firefighters, uh, EMS, ditch diggers, construction workers, whatever the case is. Each race, okay, is going to have a person do something illegal, stupid, and dumb, okay? And it don't matter if that person is white and a police officer or a construction worker, a politician, the president, or if he is black or she is black. No matter if she is a police officer or he, a construction worker, politician, government worker, whatever the case is. You know, every race is going to have that problem. And that's just how it is. And he didn't agree with me. And, you know, that is your right to do that. But just to say white people are racist or black people are racist or cops are racist, you know, that's the problem in America. People see one thing and they want to jump to conclusions. Uh, you know, every time there's a mass shooting come up, people always want to say, a white person did that, a white person did this, a white person did that. Every time... There's a cop shooting. They always don't say, oh, a black person did it. A black person did it. A drug deal gone wrong. A black person did it. Uh, anything at the border, Hispanics did it. You know? Like I said before, instead of worrying about pinning the blame on somebody, whether white, black, gay, bi, trans, whatever, okay? How about we learn to fix the issue, okay? Instead of saying, he's black, in your face, we win this time. Or, he was white, in your face, we win this time. How about we say, we work together, and not worry about race, but if you respect me, I respect you. And, we learn to stop all this. And, we can have a more peaceful, not only community and state, but worldwide. And, that will make everything better. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Some people don't want change. Some people really don't want change. They don't. Uh, some people want hate. Some people want police gone. Some people want white people gone. Some people want black people gone. Some people want Mexicans gone. Whatever the case is. You know, and that's your right to think that way. But there are a lot more good people that want peace out there. And 
it will end if we all learn to work together. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the situation. Uh, if the police officers should have been fired and faced jail time. And let me know what you guys think about this whole video. And thank y'all for watching.